So I'm back and uh, the reason I've done that little intro is because I've had about two weeks off. Main reason being is because I had a flu for about a week and a half and then there was a backlog of other work elsewhere that I had to catch up with. But let's get into this video. So here we are on screen and this is the test I carried out. As you can see, I did everything in 60 frames per second. The only things that changed was the resolution. So over to the side, we can see here the file sizes and the smallest one here is the MP4 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. Notice the frame height and the frame width did change. However, on playback, it looks perfect. Now you're probably questioning, how would you know this? Well, the video you're watching right now is rendered in that exact same settings to show you that it does work very good. Now, let me run you over the settings. So we're gonna head over to Vegas. This is the exact same clip. And all we're gonna be doing is going up to render as. So it was MP4 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second. So it's the one that I use here, which is Magic's HEVC slash AAC MP4. Now this is my usual format, however I usually go up to this one here, which is the 1080 60 frames per second. But the one I used in the example was, let me just get it, it was this one right here. So what you do is select Customize Template. So from frame rate, all you need to do is click here and change it to 59.94, which is going to be 60 frames per second. Of course, this is if you use 60 frames per second. If you don't, then you don't need to worry about this step. However, once you're done here, everything is good to go. You can come up to the top and call this something you will remember for future videos. And then you can select Save Template and select OK. Now, when you save it as a template, it will appear up here with the name you uh, called it as. And then you won't need to be entering the settings on each time. However, once you're happy with everything, we're just going to call this Render. We can select Render. So we'll let it do its thing. And just like that, it is done nine seconds of rendering. Let's open that up drag it over here and this is it right here so as you can see it did get the frame uh, height it did match up with the other one that we've done before but you can see 14.3 megabyte comparing to the others there is a huge difference in terms of file size now bear in mind that this is only for those who actually struggle with file size if their PC doesn't have a lot of storage or if you want to upload quicker say your Wi-Fi isn't the best this is going to be the best way around it if you reduce your file size then the upload speed will be a lot quicker however give it a try do experiments as well remember everyone's system is different so I'm just going to head back over to Vegas and I will also tell you the other ones I tested so if you head back over to render as the ones I tested were on MP4, the 720 one I just showed you. So it's this one here. And then of course you change it to 60 frames per second if you use it. The 1080 by 60 frames per second is this one right here. So this is the MP4 files. And then the AVC files, you head over to Sony AVC slash MVC. And then I used internet 1920 by 1080. Again, all you need to do is select it, customize template. You would change the frame rate to 60 and select OK and then render and then also the same with a 1280 by 720. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because if for instance the settings I first showed you aren't working too well for you then definitely give these other ones a go because these are the ones I find have been the best for smaller file size when rendering.